Yo. Since I did the other video there about the food and whatnot, I'm going to I'm going to show you guys the basics of what it means to make a sandwich in this here truck. I skipped a couple steps. What I did is I grabbed this bag that had some sliced white bread in it and I took out two pieces and then I laid them down. I laid them down like like so. And then I put like a little dollop of mayonnaise on each piece of bread. I didn't spread it out though that yeah, that comes later. Because then I take I take the sriracha sauce. It's a key ingredient. Um shake that up and then I slowly twist this off and just pray to God it doesn't explode everywhere which is like two out of ten times oh shh. this is one of those times oh oh my god anyways um, making sandwiches is hard potential for disaster so then you just take a corner of your piece of bread and then you just wipe up off the plate where you squirted it all over. Like that. Mmm. Great. Then you get rid of this and put it back in the fridge where it can uh, prepare for its next explosion. I keep knocking this thing over. Gosh darn it. Anyways, as you can see, I've got a state-of-the-art kitchen over here. So you can be jealous of that. And I would understand if you were. Okay. It's only so many paper towels. All right, so you just make a huge mess. And you see that? There's just sriracha everywhere now. That's pretty cool. Then you take uh, the barbecue sauce, and same same story here, you just pray it doesn't squirt all over the place. Get a little bit of that on one side, just one side. You don't need to overdo it with the barbecue sauce, guys. Just relax. Mustard, shake that all over the place. Are you guys taking notes? This is a complicated process. Oh, that was close. <laughs> we almost did this. Whew. I do that. Now, this is critical. I do the mustard on both sides because mustard is awesome. All right. Then you go through the, oh, actually, nope, nope, I'm skipping steps. Now you, now is when it's okay. You can spread that around on the sandwich. Are you, are you catching that? What I'm doing is I'm uh, taking the knife and then sort of just going back and forth across the bread in an attempt to evenly distribute the condiments. Yeah, like so. Oh, and then the other sides, I did too much barbecue sauce. So now, now what we're gonna have to do is what I call redistribution of, of sandwich wealth, where I take this, some of this, and now I gotta put it on the other side even it out a little bit because it's not right that one slice of bread should be better than any other slice of bread um, on account of they're both the same in God's eyes or something I don't I don't know I don't I didn't really take like any poli sci courses or anything at any point so now what's next oh I gotta grab back here Oh, this is this is a bag of hatched chilies that are dried and fried. I keep those at the foot of my bed for obvious reasons. I take those and I uh, I'll just sprinkle a pretty healthy amount. Um, some of you simpletons might put like Lay's potato chips, Lay's potato chips on your sandwich. Nah, not me. Um, I'm a classy dude. It's hatch green chilies that are dried and fried. That's what I'm about. Back there at the foot of the bed, so my feet will be close to them when I sleep. That's how, uh, you'll learn about that in a food safety course or something like that at some point. You'll get there. Someday you'll be like me. Okay, then you grab this, uh, one of the last remaining lunch meats that you could find in the store, which was great value brand 
rotisserie chicken breast. It's like nine cents for six pounds, so you know it's like super great. It's gonna be awesome. You grab that bad boy there, you open it up, and you grab two slices, and then you separate those slices. That's right. And then you do like an artistic fold on one side of the sandwich there. I like to do the side the opposite. You want to do this on the slice that's opposite the one that has the, the hatch green chilies that are dried and fried. You don't want to be like flipping them because then they'll spill and that would be bad. Then I artistically put this other piece of like top grade lunch meat on there. Then I reach in here and I, um, oh, I don't have any cheese that's in the refrigerator sliced. Better put one in there to start thawing it out. But I do have some uh, shredded cheese, shredded, shredded cheddar cheese, and uh, even more, like, it's sharp cheddar cheese, guys. Like, like we talked about. Only the best for yours truly. So then I guess I'll just uh, pour this out. Yeah, I always like to pour my cheese out from the bag instead of grabbing it with my hand because I dated this girl when I was in high school and her dad was like an anesthesiologist. That's irrelevant completely. But anyways, he told me if I put my hands in cheese bags that they'll get moldy. And I hate moldy cheese. So now I try to pour it out and then watch it spill all over the place like a jackass. So that's my game nowadays. Now I'm gonna go ahead and now this is this is where the union um, happens. You flip this over on top of the other one and then you give it a couple of pats and then you kind of, uh, and this is a really important step. You've gotta pick it up and then kind of like test the weight, give it one of these and then you just put it back down in a different spot because when you picked it up, you got a little bit of condiment on your hands so you gotta tear off another paper towel, wipe your hands off and you set that paper towel down, you put your meat back in the fridge on account of salmonella or some shit, and then, uh, then yeah, then you eat this bad boy. Boy, real helpful, right? I'm going places, but not with you. You're going away now. You don't have to watch me eat this. I'm going to do that by myself. Bye.